When WKRP in Cincinnati aired in the late 1970s, it quickly became a fan favorite, blending comedy with endearing characters. Lonnie Anderson, with her glamour and charm, drew much of the attention as Jennifer Marlowe. However, it was Jan Smithers as Bailey Quarters who quietly stole the hearts of many viewers. Shy yet strong, she embodied a natural, relatable appeal that resonated deeply but what happened to John after her WKRP days? And where is she now? Her story is one of serendipity, stardom, and a conscious retreat from the limelight. From a California beach to a Newsweek cover, Jan Smithers' journey to fame began in the most unexpected way. Born on July 3, 1949, in Woodland Hills, California, she was raised in a middle-class family as one of four sisters. Despite her artistic inclinations, Jan described herself as shy and unremarkable, but destiny had other plans. One fateful day in 1966, 16-year-old Jan skipped school to spend time at the beach with a friend. While she was watching surfers, two men in suits approached her. They were from Newsweek, scouting for a teenage model for an upcoming feature. Jan hesitated but agreed posing on the back of a motorcycle in an orange sweater and white jeans. That iconic image landed her on the magazine's cover, and the issue became a sensation. The phone at the Smithers house rang incessantly with offers from agents and modeling scouts. Jan soon found herself in the entertainment world, appearing in commercials and print ads while juggling school. Although she initially pursued art studies at the Schoenard Art Institute, she left to fully embrace her burgeoning career. A Star on the Rise Jan's acting debut came in the 1973 TV anthology series Love Story. A year later, she appeared in the critically acclaimed film Where the Lilies Bloom, earning praise for her portrayal of a resourceful Appalachian teenager. This led to guest spots on shows like Starsky and Hutch, and a role in the 1978 film Our Winning Season, but it was her role in WKRP in Cincinnati that cemented her as a household name. Bailey Quarters, the quiet star of WKRP. In 1978, Jan joined the cast of WKRP in Cincinnati as Bailey Quarters, a reserved but competent assistant at the fictional radio station. While Lonnie Anderson's glamorous Jennifer Marlowe turned heads, it was Bailey's authenticity and charm that drew viewers in. Bailey represented a new wave of empowered women in the workplace, educated, ambitious, and quietly defying traditional gender roles. Over four seasons and 86 episodes, Bailey evolved from a timid assistant to a capable reporter and producer. Critics and fans alike praised Jan's understated performance, which made Bailey relatable and real. Her portrayal resonated with women navigating male-dominated workplaces in the late 1970s, making her something of a feminist icon. Life after WKRP After WKRP ended in 1982, Jan appeared in guest roles on hit shows like The Love Boat, The Fall Guy, and Murder, She Wrote. But her personal life took center stage when she met actor James Brolin on the set of Hotel in 1984. The two married in 1986 and welcomed a daughter, Molly, the following year. Motherhood became Jan's top priority. She felt an undeniable calling to dedicate herself fully to raising her daughter. As she put it, When I met Molly, I thought, you need me. This profound connection led her to step away from acting altogether. Her last credited role was in the 1987 comedy Mr. Nice Guy. Hey, Golden Throwback fans, ready to take a trip down memory lane? Perfect Fifth has you covered with graphic tees that celebrate the music you love. Check out this cassette-era design, a tribute to those mixtape days. Or vibe with Melting Vinyl Sunset, bringing back the golden age of records. And for the Patriots, Stars, Stripes, and Strings, combines music and Americana in a style all your own. Get it for yourself or as the perfect gift for the music lover in your life. And right now, get 30% off your order with code THROWBACK30 at checkout.
click the link in the description to shop now. Perfect fifth, wear the rhythm, relive the moments. A spiritual journey. The pressures of Hollywood and her husband's constant travel strained John and James's marriage, leading to their divorce in 1995. Around this time, John embarked on a transformative journey. She joined a charitable group and traveled to India, where she encountered immense poverty but also profound spirituality. These experiences inspired her to explore meditation, yoga, and healing practices. John became deeply influenced by spiritual figures like Swami Muktananda and Mata Amrita Nandamai, known as Amma the Hugging Saint. Over the years, she made 16 trips to India, each time returning with a deeper sense of purpose. Her commitment to helping others became central to her life, whether through spiritual healing or advocacy for environmental causes. A Private Life in Southern California Today, John Smithers lives a quiet, introspective life in Southern California. She continues to practice meditation and yoga, emphasizing the importance of inner peace in healing the world's challenges. Although she remains out of the public eye, she occasionally reunites with her WKRP castmates and cherishes the memories of her time on the show. Her daughter, Molly, is now an artist based in Brooklyn, and Jan remains close to her. Jan's legacy as Bailey Quarters endures, with fans remembering her as the heart of WKRP, a reminder that authenticity and subtle strength can shine brighter than any spotlight. The True Hottie of WKRP So, why does Jan Smithers deserve the title of the True Hottie of WKRP in Cincinnati? Unlike Lonnie Anderson's overt glamour, Jan's appeal lay in her quiet confidence, intelligence, and natural beauty. Bailey Quarters wasn't just a character, she was a reflection of changing cultural norms and a role model for women finding their voices in the workplace. Off screen, Jan's decision to prioritize her family and personal growth over fame underscores her authenticity. Though she left Hollywood behind, John Smithers remains an inspiring figure, a star who chose to shine on her own terms. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you prefer Bailey Quarter's quiet charm over Jennifer Marlowe's glamour on WKRP in Cincinnati? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss more nostalgic deep dives like this one.